Living near Lake Champlain in Vermont is just amazing. Having a boat to use on it is even better. But be forewarned, there are dangerous boat predators lurking. And if you leave that boat unprotected, you'll be in loads of <laughs> And sadly, this is my boat. I've never seen anything like this. And today, we're going to work on cleaning all of this seagull poop off of my beautiful Sea Ray. I haven't seen a video like this before, not at this severity. We're going to tackle it and see how we can do. Because our salty dog boat can't look like this forever. Step one is to remove all of the fabric covers unsnap them all. For us it included taking off the fabric bimini which was easily removed and when you're removing these just be careful to kind of fold them in to each other so you don't get any unnecessary bird poop on your boat, the boat's interior. Step two, after crying, use the lake as your first source of water. We took these off, we put them face down in the lake. We actually have some sand in the area where we were, so we stepped on the covers from the top, kind of using the sand underneath as an abrasive, and just used what we could to try to get some of that bird poop off first before hauling it up to our driveway. And let me be very clear, yes, this was absolutely disgusting. Step three, Prepare yourselves for some seriously hard manual labor. You'll need to drag it up to wherever your water source is. And in our case, we chose to put it on the yard. I don't think I would recommend that for you guys, first off. If you have a paved driveway or you have to do it somewhere like on a back patio, do that. Uh, it will eliminate extra steps down the road that we had to take, cleaning grass off the underside. So lesson learned for us, what we used to clean was a half a gallon of warm water, a quarter cup of dish liquid soap, a quarter cup of hydrogen peroxide, and a quarter cup of baking soda. I mixed these together in this tub. I had a large brush and I took the approach to wet everything down and scrub on all of the canvas covers and then my husband went over it with the power washer. This took three separate times doing this. It certainly didn't remove everything but it looks so much better and we can actually use our boat again. As I mentioned earlier, switching over to the driveway was a very important step for us that we should have done initially uh, because we had to then, after we cleaned off the outside of the boat covers, we had to do the underneath part because there was grass. We also found that raising up the covers was important to help drying process. We had sawhorses, we used a wheelbarrow, we used what we had in our garage just to kind of lift off the tarps. And the last step, step four for us, was to put everything back on the boat. Putting the bimini top on was actually pretty easy. I would say the most important step that we took is to buy two Bird Be Gone spinning bird deterrents. We bought them from Amazon. This, I'm hoping, will save our life and prevent these predators from preying on us when we're not watching. Thanks so much for watching, guys. If you found this entertaining and disgusting, give it a like. Everyone should like it then because it's disgusting. But now, my boat isn't. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.